So we'll continue. <coughs> just here, like previous session, just some introduction part we have seen. Yes, so just what is what we have discussed. So next one we'll go to see like uh, uh, first we'll do the installation part. We'll see. It's already you are familiar, but uh, some prerequisites are required. So after doing say, Windows installation, then our Linux installation. After that, uh, we'll see some post installation steps. Basically, verifying the different drives, the different directories, what is there in which folder. So checking the logs, uh, messages, server messages. So uh, what are the different folders are created? Uh, checking the version information of the Postgres SQL. So we'll see. Uh, basically, see like as part of installation. So we have to see this in OS user and permissions. What permissions are required to install? First place. Then installation options, different options are there. Wizard option is it. Uh, then code option is it. Uh, stack builder is there. Here one tool. So which will install all the other utilities. Stack builder. Some other utilities. So then we have to set the environment variables before starting working. So OS and uh, OS user and permissions here for installation of Postgres uh, need super user access in case of Linux machine. So either as a default user here anyone and admin user access and on Windows machines. Postgres runs as a uh, diamond here in case of uh, Unix or Linux or service in Windows. Windows uh, we have seen in the in, in after installing in Windows so it runs as a separate service yesterday we have seen like starting the server stopping the server so Postgres is automatically created by the wizard recommended to create Postgres user first so Postgres uh, one user actually is cre automatically created but you create the user first uh, is recommending all processes and data files must be owned by a user in the OS. So during installation Postgres log user will be created on uh, Linux platforms. Here. And Windows uh, password is required. But in Linux uh, uh, well installation password is not required. Then the Postgres user accounts here, like uh, uh, it is advised to run Postgres SQL under a separate user account. Uh, this user account should only own the data directory that is managed by the server. So the user add <coughs> or add user Unix command can be used to create a new user in Unix. The user account named Postgres is used throughout this program we say basically like uh, whenever we we are installing uh, Postgres so you run the Postgres server with a separate user account he is recommending in general here like uh, once we install in case of uh, uh, Windows We have seen if I go to services.msc. Uh, this is a server is running. Postgres server which is running it is showing. And this is the service account network service. So we can change the service accounts here. We can create a separate account. We can change the service account. Actually, remember by using this account, uh, this Postgres uh, server will communicate with uh, uh, other servers. 
So this account is uh, as a admin we have our own accounts. Applications, applications they have their own accounts. But this account is a separate account used by PostgreSQL engine to talk with uh, Windows OS and other servers in the background, which is called say, service account. But if you are changing the service account, you have to restart the server one time. Uh, check installation options are there, sir. Wizard installation is there. Directly we can run the wizard. So operating system package as a package in case of other OS. Sir. So uh, Solar is something. So we can get the package actually from the uh, download page of PostgreSQL. So source code. Using source code also we can do here installation. So why because uh, <clears throat> then so an interactive installation of Postgres can be done using Wizard, designed to make installation of Postgres quickly and easy. PG Admin 4 is also packaged in a one-click installer here. PG Admin 4 is here currently, so admin tool through which will connect and work. Basically, by default, sir, PG Admin is installed as a uh, web-based tool here. Already, I'm using here working with PG Admin. So, as a web-based tool, it is installed actually. So, disconnect the server, for example. Okay, disconnected. So, I will close this. Generally, after installing Postgres, we have one folder is created. In that we have all the related uh, options of it. This is our uh, PG admin. So a stack builder is there what for what purpose to add the extra options. So uh, check your PG admin is it? This is our SQL shell, P SQL. Both the options are there in Windows actually. So PG admin for by 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 default here it is a web based uh, uh, GUI tool. So after that we can connect to the server. Okay. So generally it will prompt for uh, password actually, which we have used while installation. So after that, sir, in the server we have databases, login, and table spaces. Three major components are the hierarchy here. Uh, in the servers we have one server is it under the DBs, logins, table spaces. These are see like some details it is showing transactions per second, uh, server sessions, how many active are there, how many idle, how many total sessions are there, something see, six it is showing. So tuples uh, in, tuples out, means tuples are nothing but what? Rows. Uh, out here, fetch, <coughs> uh, block, IO, input, output here means what blocks are there here like pages are there in other uh, dbms in uh, blocks are there here here see session process ids are there sir currently how many sessions are there it is listing three four five six here server details it is showing okay so user names here through which user the session was created from which application client was connected so Backend start some what activity is going on in that session. Some information is there. See, main details are there. Like I say, like we can open the PG admin tool, we can start working with PG admin tool in case of what Windows. So, uh, then packaged and maintained by Enterprise DB for Postgres SQL community. We can download from here. He is saying. So uh, then, so uh, there is this like in case of generally we can in case of Windows installation is very easy, very fast through GUI installation is it. So uh, check your installation welcome page is it. So EDB Enterprise DB, Postgres EDB Enterprise DB. By default, your installation directory is it. OPT Postgres, the version number is displayed. We can change the folder. 
uh, in the same way data directory is here, here most of the important files here configuration files so like uh, server message files means what message files are like our log files here are log files or redo log files so they are there here in this data folder here important folder data folder after that it is prompting to provide a password so here, here by default one super user is there postgres default user means what basically it is a under logins if you see here after connecting under logins by default login is a postgres so uh, these are the uh, other uh, uh, roles are there then so in the same way on the uh, here next uh, by default here our postgres uh, default port number is there here 5432 default port number so uh, we can select that and it is asking the uh, select the lo locale uh, locale to the uh, use by the new database cluster actually we can create a uh, database cluster database cluster is nothing but what so a single server can maintain what multiple databases grouping the multiple databases in a single server is a database cluster we can create it later also we can create it then see once the installation is done just now we have seen these are the various options it is showing so a stack builder is there if you want to add extra options extra tools anything so installation nodes is there you can see here so how to install on different platforms so one of a major benefit of postgres is there see like a documentation is very good actually so if you stuck somewhere maximum by using documentation we can go through this here. installation nodes is okay. so we can it will open the nodes <clears throat> So on which one you want to install supported operating systems windows service account so already just now we have seen so period to version 9.2 the windows port use a service account called postgres but uh, by default from 9.2 onwards nt authority network service just now we have seen network service up to here up to 9.2 it is post place but it means one account was also created uh, we have seen by default but it is now network service account is used if you need to use a alternative account so uh, for to allow the database server to use server side copy with files on network share everything so we can use a separate account uh, he say so <clears throat> For installation, please use enterprise database. He said. So PLPG SQL is a debugger. So just they have provided some basic information. Now default account from 9.4 onwards is what? Uh, from 9.2 onwards is this is network service. That uh, Just now we have seen network service. Means what by using this uh, understood this what is the purpose of this account? Any on the left? The account in the middle. That's why man, our all admin man is just that. Hmm. Ah, account man is supervisor laga issues. So we have our own accounts. Then we go separate account only with. Uh, role super user mm -hmm. i have my own account but this account is a separate account for our first gray engine mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that the engine will talk with uh, unix or any os in the mm -hmm. background in the same way tomorrow if we are configuring some feature like replication or some feature 
so the engine to engine communication is done through this account okay we are communicating to postgres with our accounts yes this is a separate account used by postgres engine okay. not for us not for us mm. so it is default uh, default mm. pg admin tool is there admin documentation just how to use that tool we have documentation here other documentations are there which we can search a release nodes is it just uh, it will show you uh, what are the latest features were added see release nodes is see we can see here what are the changes are there how to migrate to 10.3 current latest version so changes here so uh, these are the changes are there so it is showing this is a very clear documentation is it is release nodes the every version wise they have put this important information Previously, it was uh, three parts are there here in version number 9.6 point something like this. Now, from 10 onwards here, it is only two parts now. Okay. Then uh, reload configuration. Uh, here, like uh, uh, PG con uh, control uh, could not send reload signal of, uh, operation for not permitted something. He say means we can reset the configuration. Different uh, tools are available. This is what to work with the uh, command prompt. After connecting to the local host, we can work with the commands. So, <clears throat> the server name it is asking, database name it is asking, like same thing, like how we will connect here, see, uh, server name, Postgres, SQL, database name, we can connect and we can start working. Then, now these are still like uh, things as admins here. We have to work with PG admin, so as well as Stack Builder initially to add extra features, anything and uh, SQL shells. The remaining things are the documentation. Then, Stack Builder is it? We have seen at the top application Stack Builder is it? Stack Builder is an installation utility for add-on modules here and software that supports Postgres databases. So enhance Postgres SQL using powerful tools available from Enterprise DBEC of Stack Builder. So means what we can uh, extra tools uh, we can install here, drivers we can install. Okay, so extra features we can install with Stack Builder. Tools from Enterprise DB make your database safer, faster, and easier to manage. Easy. So uh, here, see, like different tools are available. Postgres Enterprise Manager. So intelligently manage, monitor, and tune multiple Postgres and EDB Postgres advanced server instances. XDB Replication Server implement multi master, multi master, single master replication between different databases these are what extra tools provided these people enterprise db edb failover manager minimize downtime by automated failovers reduce false failovers with witness node easing so edb backup and recovery tools simple command line interface for backup restore sql protect protects your database from SQL injection. So migration tool toolkit is a fast, flexible and customized data migration. Update, monitor, notifications for critical updates. Here. 
So important tools are there here in this uh, uh, stack builder. So these are what later we can add these tools. Whenever you want, we can use these tools here, important tools. Then in generally, setting environment variables is very important, you see, before starting working. So we have to set these here. Uh, in this uh, uh, files here bash profile or profile uh, in case of linux or unix so whereas in case of windows these variables we have to set by taking uh, computer properties using environment variables so path is it uh, should point correct bin directory pg data should point to the correct data cluster directory pg port should point correct port on which database cluster is running pg user these are still like some uh, environment uh, settings we have to do before starting using uh, just very very fastly we'll see very simple uh, installation options are there so if i want to uninstall here we can uninstall same from control panel uninstall a program postgres a simple options are there in windows generally uh, it uses this here uh, individual components you want to remove or enter it is asking so enter i am selecting uh, check here by default here it uses this uh, redistributed mutable uh, uh, this Microsoft Visual C++ uh, uh, is required for us. Okay, this software is required. By default, the wizard will install it. By default, in case of Windows, this is a one-click installer. One-click, oh, correct. No, right, right. Everything it will do. Automatically. Mm -hmm. Sir, uh, I want to mm -hmm. know, know about this. Setting the oh, no. command line. Correct. So just uh, this will show, we'll see one time this one. So we'll work on that only, send to us only. Because in this mostly our, the, then after. Mm -hmm. So mostly today our servers are there in send to us only. Yes, our production. Correct. Magazine command line only. Command line only. Sir, once again. Five four three six four number. Five four three six each are under specific. And the guy by default five four three two and by default connect out. And the by default three two one sir. Because our application implementation right right correct three six each correct. Are they pro topic? Are they manage the chat? This for Windows installation, very simple steps are there. So we are not working regularly with Windows, just for practice purpose we are discussing. Prerequisites are also displayed here, very simple prerequisites are there. So from uh, postgres.org downloads, uh, check it, Windows are which one you want to download. Thank you. 
So for different versions by default it is showing which OS is required. So any OS here, Windows 7, 8, 10 for practice from uh, 10 is supporting 2008 R21 Windows. Recording <laughs> 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 Config file. Okay. The main files are there. Data is full. Hey, control C got from the binding area. All that. Long one, yes, sir. Only binding area. Hmm. So this is very simple installation in case of Windows. The only for practice purpose we can do in Windows actually. Send to us only we have to go with the next uh, next installation. Default path is there. So C program files, first place version number is it? We can change the path if you want. Next, now see by default uh, this installer is uh, also installing see, Postgres server it is installing PG admin which is a graphical interface for managing means generally in SQL server SSMS is a SQL server management studio similar to like that just now we have seen PG admin is a. so stack builder is there already we have seen Stack Builder may be used to download and install additional tools drivers. We have seen after installing PG uh, Postgres, we can use this Stack Builder uh, to install or download other tools like backup tools, some tools, command line tools are there. By default, command line tools are there like client libraries. So uh, these command line tools are installed. PG for base backup something. And we see PG bins. I am familiar with PG base backup, PG dump and PG restore also. Mm. But I don't know about the PG bench and EPG, easy PG. Mm. Easy PG means copy. Easy. Uh -huh. So 
the command line tools are required option so when installing postgres database server on pgrp so uh, data folder is here it is why because the core files of the server are installed maintaining data folder means uh, files configuration files uh, server messages means what like uh, logs everything next uh, sir, an existing data directory has been found. It is saying uh, data set to use port number 5432. The directory and its configuration will be used for this installation. He is saying. Uh, why? Because just now we have uninstalled. Still, the data directory is there. See, data directory is there only. This data directory is used, it is saying. Then delete also will install from beginning. This is the password, password, password setting. Postgres is the default login. Uh, like uh, every RDBMS has one default login. In uh, Arkill, we have some SCART Tiger or something. So, in SQL Server, we have SCA. Here, we have Super User Postgres. Some strong password we can use. Default port number 5432. Next. So, say like uh, you want to create a, a new database cluster, it is asking. See. So select the local uh, means local nothing but language settings. These are which, so um, which language settings you want. So default it will take what this machine default. Next the summary it is showing installation. What is the port number? Yeah. If you make it as screenshot, it is the reference. Yes, yes. Is. So always best practice to maintain. So next next. So I open this up. Mm. Right. Mm. Yeah, we can start working. Commands. The Excel, you can check the center. Ah, this is a new one. And this is the new practice. So search it. Center is the new one. The center is the new one. The new one.
so we can use this uh, stack builder if one uh, uh, which through which we can run DBFs in later also we can use stack builder finish we have seen that these are the default path is it? your respective folders are created so binaries is the folder where all the postgres uh, exe and dll files are their application files whereas data folder is our important folder so where we have database logs uh, everything say database files logs everything is there in the data folder we will see that one by one folder we will see so just here after installation we can uh, So we can connect through CD any one command shell or PGM. By default, CD server is created with the same Postgres version number. Uh, under that CD one default database is there with the name postgres by default one database is it and also postgres so in that cell by default database is a postgres so in that we have all the options are there under the schemas uh, we have uh, default oh, public schema is it under that we have <coughs> objects are there say, tables everything Currently, here no tables are there. So, just way like we can create all these things now. So, by uh, if I select the database name, so we can go to tools, new query tool. So, we can create the objects by right clicking also. We can do very simple, very simple. Both the options so the graphical <coughs> option is it, command based option is it. You can change the owner, schema, columns, constraints, place, <coughs> everything. So now this query is connected to IT showing here Postgres on Postgres at server. So any comments, anything that is common. Semicolon so pedagogy is circular. No option. <coughs> Normally the last command put there, that is semicolon pedagogy is SQL level there. Comment syntax. Like that pedagogy. Pedagogy level that only. No, it is select and execute. So it's created. Second and same Malaya is there. In that two seconds left. Correct. In that one, no more chip in that one. I think that one sec. That is rewrite the pictures. Rewrite correct. Planner already. So that is like very basic installation we have seen. And what are the after that sir? Just we have to verify the installation details here. So first one here we can verify the server version we can check. So by using the commands here, select server version. Okay. After installing that. After installing. Select version. Sorry. Select version.
so it is showing the complete details so postgres 10.3 uh, compiled by Visual C++. Like this, said, we can verify the Postgres SQL version format is uh, previously what happened? Major dot minor dot maintenance previously, but uh, now here only major dot uh, minor is uh, said. There is no maintenance version. Previously, major, major, it was major means what? Sir? 10 is the major. Minor means compiled by the uh, Second one dot. Uh, previously we have seen here. Okay. So previously said uh, here see major dot minor dot uh, okay, uh, maintenance version okay. previously but then is 9, nine is 6, or six or this six is or 8 or 8 is the maintenance of x it will be changing, hmm, changing. but from 10 onwards uh, they have put only two parts so okay. Ten point X. Direct uh, main version, major version, major and uh, maintenance version. Maintenance version. Then next one see like what is the server uptime? Means what like uh, uh, we can check the server uptime see. Just some basic information we are checking. So just see seven minutes. Just now we have installed. Mm -hmm. So it started working. Server up and from how long the server is running. So in the same way, uh, we can use this here. Postmaster start. Uh, postmaster time start time. Postmaster means uh, the server start. Time. Server start. Today. Complete it is showing mm. date and time complete. This is this year also same actually, uh, but they yeah, show we are just deducting how many only yeah. seconds and minutes here. What date? Date. 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 Just repeat it again. Yeah, next one says locating, exploring database. So locating the database server files. So database server files are initially stored in a location referred to as the data directory. Data directory. Additional data files may also be stored in table spaces if any exist. And generally Ubuntu or here will get these folders here. So by default. Uh, by default, this is the version number. Uh, this is the server name, Postgres something. So our uh, version number actually. Uh, configuration files are there here, see the same main folder. So on Red Hack are sent to us here. Uh, lib is the PG SQL data. So contains by default the configuration files are also the star.config files. So data folder is our main folder. See here itself some configuration files are there. Postgres SQL con uh, main file configuration file two three uh -huh. four right. So four configuration we files. We can use HB and. Uh, uh, HPA we have Postgres and Postgres Postmaster PID for the port now. Hmm. We will see one by one again. Then, so in Windows, uh, just now we have seen C program files data. And say, like these are the different folders are there again. Uh, these are see, different folders are there. Just what is what uh, for each folder. Base folder is there. This is the main table storage folder. 
So beneath this directory, each database has its own directory within which the files for each database table or index are maintained. <clears throat> So each table, each index files are maintained here. See, submit, submit. What is that VM and the value where we got from VSF? FSM. What it uh, noted, sir? Uh, VM and uh, this file stream manager file. This is the virtual manager something. We will see. Uh, then global is there, see, like uh, here are the tables that are shared across all the databases including the list of databases so global tables here total which are there in multiple databases so same it is maintaining control code internal then so uh, pg commit TS is here. here we store transaction commit timestamp data. Okay. So PG C log uh, folder is here. Here are the transaction status files are there. PG Dyn uh, yes uh, Dyn's mem. So this dynamically shared memory. dynamically shared memory. So uh, includes a dynamic shared memory information. So from 9.4 onward CC PG logical this includes the logical decoding status data so uh, files used for shared row level log CC so notify this includes the uh, listen notify status files yeah, includes here sure. information about replication slots some all the folders are frequently not used but some folders are frequently used slots are there uh, serial this includes information on committed serializable transactions so snapshots this includes exported snapshot files pg stat this includes about what uh, statistics which are important files another important folder so includes transient statistics data uh, this includes sub, uh, sub transaction status data like these are table space directories these are also important for us so this includes state files for prepared transactions uh, transaction log this is another important folder uh, right ahead logging transaction log uh, uh, internally works with walls here right ahead logging We'll see the only things uh, you are allowed to touch are configuration files with the extension dot config file and server message log files. Server message log files are what? Mm. Uh, that PGP log, PG log files. Uh, log, error log files. Yeah. So, means what if anything happened? So, we have to check in the PG log. log files. These are okay. same. Not PG log, mm, direct log it means up to maybe this in 10.3 mm. uh, logs are there. These are this is the server logs. So directly can check it directly. And we can do various things on these logs. We can change the format, we can change so we can mention the uh, maximum size we can mention. Okay. So various things we can do on this. Can you segregate the error logs to, log to separate directory? Separate directory. That's why okay. config files we can work with as well as we can work with what message log files. Mm -hmm. Server message log files may or may not be in the data directory. You can maintain anywhere. Generally, see locating database server message log. Just now we have seen. We have to create some error log we have to maintain that. Uh, we can create it separately uh, where we can maintain backups in which parameter we can create uh, in the config file config we will see that okay. in configuration the database server's message log is a record of all messages recorded by the database server 
this is the first place to look all the browsing. If any issues are there, first we have to enter into a message log. So uh, then, look, uh, next one, see the server log can be uh, in a few different places. So first let's list all of them so that uh, we can locate the log or decide where we want it to be placed easy. The server log may be in a directory beneath the data directory by default it is. So it may be in a directory elsewhere on the file system anyway. It may be redirected to syslogs also by default. So there may be no server log at all. Then it's time to add a log easy. So if not redirected to syslog, the server log consists of one or more files. So you can change the names of these files. So it may not always be the same on every system. So on this Ubuntu system here, the default server log location is Postgres log is Postgres equal. So the current server log file is named with this name here, Postgres equal hyphen version number hyphen main dot log. So this is our current main main dot log is there. So this is the current log. Currently our Postgres engine is using this log actually currently. So uh, this is the version number. For example, say like Postgres SQL hyphen version number main dot log. Next logs are there here with the extent dot one dot two dot three like this. Next logs. Suppose check here by default here. Now our log is in Postgres SQL with date and time is there. So log it is showing. So. We can configure in general here the uh, like dot one dot two may be there. So uh, the older the uh, if the dot three is there, it it has what old information. So log rotate utility is there. See, uh, these logs are automatically rotated. He is saying. In case of like uh, sent OS, the uh, location is in the uh, sub directory PG log. Right. OS log directly, but here in sent OS PG log subfolder. So uh, we'll see once after installation. In Windows already we have seen uh, we can uh, even the messages we can send to the systems event log. Check here in the log file, uh, just a file that records messages from the server. Each message has a severity level. Severity level. The most typical of them being log through their other folders. These are the main things he's saying. Uh, debug uh, 1 to 5. Postgres severity 1 to 5. Meaning this comprises the internal diagnostic uh, errors, internal errors. Internal errors are there like uh, or software related errors here. So in uh, syslogs of uh, Sent OS, it will show you debug, whereas in Windows, uh, it will show you information. Info is that this is the command output for the user. So, notice is that this is helpful information, means like recommendations, these are warnings are there. Means in the log, we can see the errors are there. Error. So, log is a useful for sysadmins, so information. Fatal and panic, these are there. Said. This is the event that disconnects one session only. So, this is the event that crashes the server. Means these two are uh, uh, some critical events here, which we have to uh, handle immediately as admin. Which one, sir? This is log uh, panic, uh, fatal, and panic. Ah, panic uh, means uh, that automatically the server shut down. Correct, it, server shut down. <coughs> Then, mm -hmm. 
నేను సెంట్ ఆయిల్స్ కూడా తీసేస్తాను సార్ ఇక్కడ తీసేస్తాను మీకు పెండోల్ ఇస్తాను సార్ so then said like uh, last point is i said you can adjust the number of messages that appear in the log by changing the log min messages server parameters we'll see all these in the configuration after discussing basic i am not correct basic uh, commands yes. uh, then said you can also change the amount of information that is displayed for each event so we can change the various parameters we can change the log destination parameters here in this one controls where the log messages are stored the valid values are std err stat csv like sys log and uh, event log like this here the logging collector is there sir separate uh, background process so that writes to a log file everything Uh, that the PostgreSQL server outputs to standard error. This is the background process. Is there is a logging collector. Okay. So the log rotation can be controlled with settings such as here log rotation age. Important points here log rotation age and log rotation size. Okay. So means what the log should be there. How long the log should be there. So like say one week after one week they are flush into one and that we will plan in the front no means for shell scripting mm, shell scripting so now we can set the rotation timing directly see okay. settings we can do in the okay uh, configuration the file correct that options are right size also once it size reaches above so no need to, MB, no need no need to so 5 mb automatically it is rotated okay. mean they are flush into one we have seen so only for backup purpose only we have to correct card so these are some important information is there sir about server message logs so uh, after that sir like uh, we have to continue with these other things but uh, uh, before continuing these things first we'll see uh, installing in sent os will work uh, there no our next uh, example same thing this basic commands everything t uh, 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 sql commands we can work any way maybe so ps hyphen ps hyphen ef is also uh, grep mm. that also we have to check. we can check the logger process process how many process are working correct right. mm. is that uh, server is on or uh, correct no hmm. so what we'll do is here like uh, from here we'll continue again with the installation so okay. just uh, today we have seen here again uh, just PGA basic admin. things we have seen oh. what how to use pg admin how to install it with windows so we have seen in windows version what should be okay. so the same sorry. thing we have to see now in the linux version so yes these the other things are there how many tables are there you see all these things we can verify so after verifying uh, we will in install in this one pg uh, sent os after that we'll go to some basic commands we'll see basic uh, sql commands ddl dml primary key foreign key so those things after that uh, we'll start with configuration configuration so after the installation configuration is important we have seen these logs everything we can configure in the configuration file three configuration files will use regularly that <coughs> hba configuration dot right those files will see i didn't means okay will you will we use i didn't postgres i didn't dot 